Marshall and I are good friends. We we travel around, you know, but uh, great game, nice and smooth. Marshall's very deliberate, very smooth, very slow pace, but he's very accurate. And if he gets on a run, you might have to worry. Dale has to worry because, you know, Marshall gets catches the gear. He might not get back to the table for a couple of games. Oh, I've lost pretty bad to Marshall in uh, in action. Yeah. Yeah, I've had that opportunity myself. And that's the great thing about the pool community. And let's and once again, I'm going to go back to Cole Dixon because fact of the matter is, we're we're a pool community. Amongst, a, we're we're a small community, but we all know each other and we all love each other, and we all know the old and the new and the young. And uh, Cole Dixon being the great guy that he was, that's what we're here for. And at the same time, but we also know all the new players and and the intermediate and so on and so forth. We all know each other and have a good time. We enjoy each other and, and, and play the game and, and really enjoy the game. And that's what it's all about. And we're here today for Cole Dixon and that's important. Well put, Tommy. For Thanks, those who don't know, Tommy Lips played in this event. He came in uh, 9 through 12. Yeah, act no. I'm sorry, Dan. I have to correct you on that one. Dad and everybody. Dan, I have to correct you on that. 7th, 8th. Oh, oh, seventh, eighth. Yeah. Oh, take it shoot. easy, man. Sorry. Don't sell me short. Well, no, I'm just trying. I'm not trying to. I'm trying not to knock your action. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Great. So, anybody wants to come up, they got the eight. Hey, where does Mark live? Sacramento, Oak Grove. Oh, okay. Oak Grove. Yeah. yeah. All right. You take it off. All right. Nice to see you. Good to see you. All right. Just got a. Just got a. Loving from Mary Rakin, who's one of the great female players who finished in this tournament in the top 32. Yeah, she, she, she played really fantastic. Did. She no, played she really played great. Well. She lost to she Jason lost Williams the, on the then, winner side. And then to Delbert and then Wong, to Delbert the Wong. owner of Family and Delbert, Billiards. And uh, to, to, the, to the owner of Family Billiards. Yeah. But you know what? Mary Rakin, who is one of the great female up-and-coming players on that tour. And just like Eleanor Colado and Emmeline, She's really going to be an outstanding player, and she's she was playing. televised just last year on yeah, uh, absolutely on ESPN. So good for her, you know. She played great. She played. And, uh, you she know, played Gerda Hofstetter. Yeah. On ESPN and, and you know, uh, in the uh, WPBA event in uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. And it's funny because I've known first time I've known TV. her since she was fourteen. And no kidding. Yeah, and and it was just amazing watching her grow and play as a pool player, and she's amazing. And and, and you know what? I'm really proud of her. I have to say that. You know, she's really come up as a pool player. That entire family, the Reagan clan, there are five kids oh, in that I know. family. I know, and they're all pool players. They're all pool players, Isn't and they're all great? amazing. They're all amazing. No, I mean, you know, yeah. Uh, Dante, Dante, Dante's Dante. a great father yeah. to, to those kids. You know? Absolutely, and you know what? He's he, he raised them well. You know, Michelle now is married. She's uh, going for a doctorate, being a, you know, a smart person. As opposed to the rest of us that are playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, before that, she was a great pool player on top of that. And we all know that from the past because true. At those of us in USPPA days, she was playing 110, 120 speed, and she was amazing. And anybody yeah, that played against USPPA her, USPPA 110, 120 is pretty solid. damn strong. Yeah. You, yeah. Anytime you go up against her, you're scared. I mean, I'm a 102 in the USPPA. There you go. Yeah, I hear you. So you asked me if I play pool. That's yeah, my speed. Really? I didn't know that. I've never met up with you. Why I, didn't I, we ever play? But I'm playing like an 85, so. Really? Know. So you want to gamble? Uh, maybe later. All right. You let me know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pitch and toss coins. How's that? <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Hey, you know, you ever heard of that game I, called Cornhole? Every time I walk into this room, I'm a gambler. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You got a good haircut, though, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tommy. <laughs> Anything for you, baby. Okay, so here we go. It's uh, two to one. Um, <laughs> ask all the hard questions. I know, right? Uh, I believe... Uh, I believe Dale got that last game. You think so? I think it's right. two to one, Dale. All right. We're having so much fun, so much fun talking over here, folks. We're 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 paying attention to the live stream. Nonetheless, Dale's up at the table. Made a great shot on the one ball. 
Now he's got to maneuver between the four to no, seven to get to the two five. I don't think he's got. I don't Looks think like he's, he's got enough of the two ball. He to doesn't, do this. but you know what? He's just going to have to do a little short messe. He's going to jack his cue up about 15 degrees, curve around that four ball to make that two five combo in the corner pocket. Well, he didn't make the combo, but he made the carom. And he came out and he got a pretty good shape on the two ball. Two ball kicked out and he's got a shape on the two ball in the corner pocket. Now it comes down to two to the three to the four. The question is, is is he going to play the four seven combo or is he going to try to play something different? If you're going to be, if you're going to play a good, be a good player, you're probably going to play it simple and easy. So right now he's just making it simple and easy. Since he play the, the four seven combo, I think. Yeah, here. I think so too. I think he's going to the, the way Dale plays. He plays pretty solid. He's probably going to get lined up on this pretty well. He's probably going to put a little bit of top English on it, come off the back rail to the side rail, and come out and get lined up on that four seven. He's not liking it, though. Did you see him nodding just a minute ago, like taking a look and going, oh, yeah. gosh, a lot of stress. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, this late in the game, now, now I mean, it's been a long weekend. Way yeah, he got now. way out now of line. Yeah. Play a so the chances are he's probably going to bank this four ball. He's probably going to go to the – he's going to bank the four ball off the side rail. He's going to go to the end rail, probably go to the other side rail and leave the cue ball frozen on the side rail where the four ball's at, is my opinion. Well, let's see what he does here. No, I don't know he what played, that was. I don't he really he played know a safety, but uh, he he really he, he seemed a little dazed on that one because no, he. I, uh, I really don't know what that was. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a little lost because now he really gave Marshall a good shot to get out. He gave Marshall actually not only a good shot, he gave him a good shot, a good angle to get on that four ball to the six. There you go, Marshall made that ball nice and easy. Got it. Pretty decent position on the six ball. A little bit awkward angle. All he has to do is roll that six ball in the side pocket with a little bit of inside, come down off the in rail, and exactly what he just did, got straight on the seven with a little bit of an angle. It lo looks like now he's gonna hit that ball with a little bit of stunned bottom English to come off the rail and shoot that eight ball in the corner. He's probably gonna slide it over after that to the nine. And it's pretty much one, two, three. One. That's one. Now, the problem is he didn't slide off the way he wanted to, so now he's going to come up a little bit high. So he's probably going to roll this in just nice and easy. He's going to go to the end rail. He's going to come up a little high on the nine ball. He's going to have about a 15 to 30 degree angle. There's number two. Oh, nice stroke. Good shot. Now he's actually straight in on that nine ball. Hit it really well. Marshall Williams, never take him for granted. He played that shot really well. Three. There it is. And we got a game going. Well, actually, no. So now, uh, the now, score is actually you know, three, three to one. one. So, yeah. So, Marshall is actually in the lead three to one. We thought it was Dale, but we, we misunderstood. And Marshall's in the lead. Marshall's up three to one, racking the balls right now. Race to six. He's very calm, cool, and collected, like he always is. If he stays with that stroke, He's got complete control of this match. Something about the sound of the break. Just the sound I of feel, the, you know, I feel at peace when I hear it. Sound of the break. You know what? Just the click of the balls. Yeah. Think of what they're going through. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this real quick. Uh, my girlfriend Christy and I were out in uh, Capitola last weekend. We were at Pizza My Heart. We had a slice of pizza. And we walked down, and all of a sudden we heard a click. And right next door was the pool tables. And you, know, you, you just know that sound. Like every pool player knows, you hear that sound, and it's just like a piece of heaven. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You know, man. Whether you're playing or not. You no, know, I, I, I often sleep to the sound of pool balls. <laughs> no, I do. I'll really? put I'll put old live streams on yeah. on YouTube. I'll look for Are you are you like one of those kids that has and I'll just sleep to, has the to balls. balls 
swinging it above your head and then a baby crib? No. No? No, no. no okay. All right. I just thought Anyway, uh, I want to also thank Big Dennis in the chat room for, uh, for his recent, uh, for your donation to POV Pool. A longtime follower of POV Pool, and I really appreciate your, uh, your, your assistance and your help here. Uh, every bit helps, and, um, you know, it's always a pleasure to see you. And I see you changed your chat, your chat name. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I see you changed your chat name to Big Dennis DCCQ. So, uh, I, uh, you know, congratulations on the name change. Uh, one of these <laughs> days you're going to have to tell me what DCCQs is. And are you a pool player and you want to come play? Or are you a cue maker? Yeah, well, Tommy <laughs> Lips just wants to play anybody pool right now. Now, meanwhile, we're back on live stream, and Dale's getting down. He's been running out. He's down on the seven ball. He's a little off angle. He's got a tough. He's feeling nice, good right now. But he, he, just he can't came get out, out of line. Made that seven ball perfectly. Got back in line on the eight ball, and looks like he's going to have control of this rack. He's going to be breaking soon. If you want me to go. All right, Deo now at three games to two. Yes, and Deo is at the two. So, but he's got a sledgehammer break. Got a kick, bad kick off uh, a ball. <laughs> However, uh, made a ball. He's got a little bit of an ang off angle with a two ball in the side pocket. It's not a, it's a makeable shot, but whether or not he really wants to go for it to get shape on the three ball, because the three ball is kind of a tough position from where he's at. So... Chances are he might be playing a safety on this one. Might even try to cross bank it. If he cross banks it, he's going to run into the seven ball, which might, if he makes a two ball, hits the seven, he's going to get a good shape on a three ball, and that should let him out. But it just relies on his accuracy and making that ball cross side. Well, you know, I really like Dale's attitude right now. He's really sort of like, I'm in it to win it, you know. He's playing with confidence. Oh, no, absolutely. Wow, he made, oh, he went for a really... you see that? He had a little help he, from the six he, there. He got a little help from the six, but he made a really strong shot down there in the corner. Yeah, and man, I don't know hoping he, to get a little, he was trying to get a little bit better shape yeah, on that three ball. Yeah, I don't know if he got the it shape came up wanted. a little bit short, yeah. yeah. He really so, tried to get there, No, though. he played, it was a really great shot. He just came up a little bit short. And now he's got to work a little bit harder. But the good thing about pool players, when you get to this level, if you get bad shape, you can always play a safety. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You can you can put your opponent in a bad bind. But the thing is... I know another thing that's good about pool players. What's that? They'll always like what you cook them. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, Dale. Cuts it in like it's nothing in the well, side pocket. Great. He's got that shape on the floor. But yeah, you're absolutely right. And ask my <laughs> if you girlfriend. If make them anything out of the kitchen, they'll oh, always like it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, as, I cook for my girlfriend all the damn time, so absolutely. I will, I totally agree with that. Of course, if anybody cooks for me, I'm totally happy yeah. as well. By the way, I want to say thanks to uh, Upstate Al and the live stream news group. Thanks so much for your... Uh, for your uh, support and promotion of POV Pool, I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to check out the live stream news group on Facebook. We're giving you access to over 1,500 live pool streams all over the world. That's fantastic. Four hours a day. And amazing. Yeah. Because if you don't get enough of your pool out of watching The Color of Money and The Hustler, go on YouTube and go to these sites and watch some really great games with some really great players. And that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Because you're going to see some of the best players in the world 
to this day yeah. really play the game. Absolutely. And that's really what it's all about. Meanwhile, back at uh, Deo's ranch here. Yeah, Deo's just putting on a fucking show right now. Ooh, easy, easy. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey, ooh, ooh, Did I say that out loud? Ooh, My bad. Beep, 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 The beep. stream just went down. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> sorry. It must Tommy be the lips. He's flapping his lips. <laughs> Never had any complaints yet until now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we all know what that's all wow, about. Wow, did you see that? Dale hit a the side great shot, drilled that shot in the side, got perfect shape. He stunned that ball in a seven. You know what's came funny? Came back is over perfect on the eight. Dale's, eight. It was a playing, nice angle. Dale's playing like he knows exactly who he's playing right now. Absolutely. You know, he, like he's got the, a line on his But the his thing opponent, is, he's you know not I mean? playing on anybody. He's playing the balls on yeah, the exactly. table. He's playing the table. And he's playing perfect. And so now it's tied three to three. And so, really, what's going to come down to at this point, in my opinion, it's a race to six. It's three to three, which means now it's a race to three. Yeah. And what it's going to come down to is who makes the first mistake. Well, you know what? I've been in this position many, many times. and As we all have. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, you want to you wanna do a side bet there, Dan? No, 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 no. I don't want to side bet anything. I'll take Marshall. No, I'm not saying who's going to make the first mistake. I'm not saying that. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I, you know. Can everybody actually hear what you're saying? For the most part, yeah. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. It's okay. Actually, somebody in the scrolls like said Tommy, and they put a question mark. They didn't know who I was. I, I don't know. I just I was like, it is what it is. But I'm having a good time. Thanks for letting me chill with you and have a good time. Oh, you're welcome, man. This is uh, Dan Bush uh, with Tommy Lips. Thank you for having me, Dan. Event. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. I actually uh, enjoyed my tournament. I got knocked out by Jason Williams, who played a great tournament. He got knocked out right behind me by Dan, to by Mark Tui, who's playing fantastic right now. And uh, we're down to five. It's tied three to three. Uh, Dale just uh, took a break, made a ball, played a safety on Marshall Williams, froze him up on the seven ball. Marshall's going to try to mess a. Hits the ball, pretty solid. Sends one ball down table, leaves the cue ball in the center, and gives Dale not the greatest shot to make, but he's probably going to try to play another safety. We just got a new nickname for you. Tommy Loose Lips. Okay, who, who is uh, Skip M624? Skip Maloney. Skip Maloney writes for AZ Who's Billiards that? And really? Billiards Digest. He's okay, a, I want to know that. I don't know. I, you know, it's not the first time I've heard Loose Lips. <laughs> so, yeah. Keep on coming. Uh, give me a new one. That ain't, that ain't enough. The score banner. Thanks, Ra. Well, thanks, Skip. Yeah, lose lips. Never heard that before. So Marshall's at the table now. It's three to three. He's got a shot, uh, a kick at the one, or some, uh, he's somehow gonna, he's looking at the On paint. the back side, yeah. He's underneath it. He's, he's looking like he wants to bank at this. No, he wants to play safe. Use yeah. the six ball as a stopper. Oh, wow. Great Look at shot. that. Hit it very, great. That was Hit awesome. it pretty, it was very pretty creative. perfect. Yeah. So now Dale's got a shot, but he's got to go at least two rails just to hit the one. But the question is, if he hits the one, is he going to get sh safe or is he going to leave Marshall a shot? Or is he going to make it? And look at that. He made the shot, and now he's got shape on the two ball, and look at he's back in control of the table. How good is, how good is how this good guy playing? How did he hit it? Right? How, pretty damn pretty good. Damn good. <laughs> That's right. Look you know that. what? I'm, I, I I do want to give away a Kamui tip. I want to give away a Kamui tip voucher right now. I'll tell you what, folks. And here's what it's going to come down to. Dave's playing really great. He's got he knows exactly where he wants to be. He's got uh, five's a little bit in trouble. He's got a little bit of angle on the four. 
he's probably going to come back and try to play it. He might be, try to break it out. No, nope, yep. He tried to kick out that seven ball so he could get a shape on the five. He didn't do that. So it looks like at this point, because he's so far off, he's probably going to try to bank this five ball, three rails, and roll the cue ball up on the seven ball to play a safety. He's probably going to try to stick that, that five ball, three rails, behind the eight ball on the other side of the table, in my opinion, with the top English, and have that cue ball just roll up on the seven ball. I... Is my guess. I could be wrong. Maybe he's gonna just gonna go for it and try to carry him that five cue ball out the five about, and a seven. What about the one pocket cross shot here? No, he's it's playing exactly. The, he's there playing. It is. You know what? He's playing a four That's, rail. That safety. was that, that was That was what I was going for. I expected him to hit it a little bit softer and put it behind the eight, but he hit it good. Rolled it up forward, but uh, he still didn't give Marshall too much of a shot. Marshall's got to play solid. He's got a shot. Maybe he can carry him that nine ball in. Or, you know, at this level, what are you going to do? Yeah. You're either going to hit it good or you're going to play a safety. And uh, he ended up safe. Yeah. Uh, I what just want to refill on the haywire. All right. I got it. Sorry. No problem. Tommy's going to exit for a second. probably going to end up with about four, three or four more matches tonight. Every match now for the rest of the day is going to happen on the stream table. Uh, I will find out in just a minute. And if you're tired of listening to Dan, just let us know and we'll kick him off. <laughs> <laughs> There's times when I'm tired of listening to Dan. Okay, stay tuned. After this rack, we're going to get a quick trivia question and I'm going to give you guys a Kamui voucher. I got one already. I already got it. I'll make one. I got one. I'll make one. I already got it. Oh, you already got it? I already right. got it. It's going to be a hard one, so yeah. I just want you all to know. All right. This is a this is a Jeopardy visual. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Visual Absolutely. question. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Rolling right through. You got it. This is for fifth, sixth place. Yes. Deo Alpahora versus... Our man Marshall Williams of the Williams family, the only, the last Williams standing, or is it? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I wonder if he would want to jump this. I love you. I love you. That wasn't the match. Yeah, just you might thought I was ready for a ball. Hold it straight in. That wasn't the match. Why do I have a good idea? That's the match. Yeah, you got to see it before that. Before he got to the match. Whatever it is. But if you really have that. But if you want to say that, yeah, at the end, the fact of the matter is. I fought through it. I fought through it. That's the that's the straw that cheers, brother. That should not be the case. That should not be the case. Jason, are you you're out? All right. Cool. Oh shit. I gotta. I, we gotta talk on this one. All right. So here we go. So uh, everybody watching the live stream, Dave frozen on the nine ball. Goes four rails, kicks the eight ball, amazing, and gets a bad roll and scratches. Wow. Floppy you, Bear, if you drive over here right now, I'll give you a Kamui voucher just for doing it. And I'll give you the eight. <laughs> you heard that. Tommy Lips has given up the eight ball to total strangers. That's funny. Meanwhile, Marshall... Makes the eight and pushes out the nine. It actually came out pretty good on that. I didn't expect him to play the way play it the way he did. Oh, he struggled on that one, but he made it. Marshall's up four to three and a race to six on the loser side, and we got a struggle going on. 
Every playing, everybody's playing strong and hard. <laughs> okay, folks. For a Kamui voucher, can you identify this player? I, I know him, but I don't know his name. The first person in the chat room to identify this player wins a Kamui tip voucher. I know this guy. I know this guy. It's kind of like that guy, you know, that you saw when you were young. Oh, I know it. I know it. Yeah. Does he play good? Can I give him the A-ball? <laughs> Probably not, Probably Tom. not. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, well, you're not making it very much fun. <laughs> no, I'm not. Will he give me the A-ball? Um, he might. Yeah. Yeah? He might give you yeah? the A-ball. All right. And you know what? He might lose, too. Oh, really? Yeah, he might lose. Well, there lose you go. You've one. just given some... some Insight and a little bit of advantage to those people thinking about who the hell that is. If 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 they think that this guy could give me the eight ball, let's sign him up and bring him in. Let's play for a <laughs> thousand. That's a joke, everybody. That's a joke. Yes, that is Mark Vidal. Yeah. Pool Good call. player twenty nine. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, wait. No, for no, it. no. Who's nope. the first one to answer this? Ra Hanna just won himself a Kamui tip voucher. No, wait, no, wait. Post Ra first. Hanna. Ra Post Hanna? first. Oh, okay. Post right. first in the chat room. Post just first. won himself nice. a Kamui tip voucher. All right. So Ra Hanna. Congratulations. Congratulations, brother. Come on down. Let's play for 100. Send me your address, bro. I'll get that right out to you in Valencia. You know what? <laughs> i tell you what. Oh, is he in Valencia? Yeah, he lives in Valencia. He's a friend oh. of mine, actually. Oh, uh, I know him it. from... Sherman Oaks House of Billiards. I know then, him from Northridge and Plush we're gonna, Pocket. We're going to have to come out and he's visit a, He's a great guy. Loves to play one pocket. Oh, really? Yeah, Raw Hannah. Oh, okay. He's uh, originally from New York. Well, then I need A6 then. Yeah. All right. Married to uh, to Jess, Jessica. Yeah. Awesome. And, Fantastic. Uh, no, right Jen. On. Congratulations. Holy shit. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said that, okay. actually. Yeah, it's your fault this time. It's my fault this time. Yeah. It's been a long it's weekend. been a long week. I apologize for the uh, foul language, but this is the internet. It is like not any, like anybody not gives the Disney a, Channel. Like anybody gives any a darn thing about that. Anyway, meanwhile, going back <laughs> yeah. to the live stream table. Living in Valencia, let's go to claim yeah. jumpers. So, Marshall Rahana, Williams, you just won yourself a Kamui tip voucher, man. Congratulations. Why don't you text me and send me your address? And on the live stream table, we've got Marshall Williams and Dale. Marshall's up four to three. Marshall's at the table, just shot it in the two ball. Got a nice shave on the four ball. However, to get back on that five ball, it's going to be a little bit tough. He's got to stroke that with top English to get back on the opposite side. Or he's going to draw it backwards and try to get on the five eight. By the way, this Kamui tip voucher would be redeemable for any type of Kamui tip including the new Kamui Clear Tip. So if you uh, want, are interested in trying out the new Kamui Clear, Ra, go ahead and use the voucher for a Kamui Clear Tip. Marshall Williams made a great stroke on the far ball. Kind of messed up the five a little bit, but doesn't have a bad He's got a long shot on the five, about a 30 degree angle. He can roll that ball in with top English, come out and get shape on the six. Or he could stun it with center English, slide across the table, shoot the six ball in the side pocket. As a pool player, that's just what I'm saying. Or he could just play safe, which looks just the way he struck the ball. That's why he with it. And he got bad luck. Hit that, hit the corner of the side pocket. Came back. 
gave Deo a shot now. Deo's got a shot on the 5A combination. But Deo's got a 45 degree angle on that 5 ball. So to hold that cue ball to stay on the 5 ball, it's going to be really tough. He can make that 5A combination. But for him to come back and stay on that 5 ball, it's going to be really tough. So it looks like he might just bank it into the rail and send it back down table. And f yeah, and it is exactly what he did. And he gave Marshall fro frozen on the back rail behind the 9-6. Now the question is, is Marshall going to pull out a jump cue? Or is he going to try to kick that ball? Oh. Marshall jacked up, tried to kick that ball, missed it, gave Dale a ball in hand. Now here's the thing. Dale's got ball hand on a five ball. Six ball doesn't go straight into the pocket. Eight ball's in the way. Question is, is how Dale's going to get on that six ball? To get shape on that six ball is to get shape on the six ball on the side, which as you can see is what he's looking at right now. Question is, is how he's going to hit that five ball to get it there? Looks like he's going to try to make it as easy as possible and roll that ball in. So he's looking at speed and the speed control, which is one of the basic fundamentals of pull. Oh, speed control? Speed control, absolutely. absolutely. Right? So he's just going to roll that five ball in, try to get down on the six ball in the side pocket. Hits that five ball perfect. Look at the speed. Bumps into the eight ball, gets great shape. He's straight in the side pocket. Now all he has to do is roll that six ball in the side pocket. He's got shape on the six, seven. And looks like Deo's going to take back control of this game. And like we were saying earlier, it looks like it's one, two, three. Yeah. So right now we're looking at seven. Well, the he's seven, got a look, well, he's jacked the up over the tester. Well, he's, he's, he's got to work the with, the, with the cue ball a little bit. Well, you know what he's going to do here? He's probably going to shoot that seven, and he's going to put a little bit of bottom left, cinch the ball, slide over to the rail, and bounce out. So he's going to come back to the center of the table for that A ball. Nope. He overstroked it. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. Yeah, say the least. <laughs> but look However, where, where, look he, where he the seven lands. He, yeah. he's, shining, he's shining bright. And, and Santos finally grabs his cue at <laughs> the table after at least 16 hours of operation. Yeah. That looks like my, that looks like my cue. <laughs> it looks like my case. Uh, if any of you in the area, family builders, please don't come on down. We have a lot of great players, a lot of good times, and you get to see a lot of great matches. When is POV Pool coming to Florida? That's like the best question I've heard in, a, in all year. If you let me know, I'll jump in your travel bag and go with you. Just well, got to say, uh, you just got to let it, me know. Man. You got a friend. All right. You got a friend with POV Pool, bro. Damn straight. Marshall Williams cut that ball in. He hit that on the back rail with inside, hit it into the rail, went right back down the table, played a great shot. Look. Left pretty much Dale the same shot that he had in the beginning. So we've really got a tough match going on here. So, Want to welcome back Bob Bolio to the chat room, buddy. Dale clips the side of the ball, goes around two rails, try to get. Marshall behind the eight ball if everyone's watching on Ustream barely misses it behind it. Marshall's actually got a clean shot at this seven ball so really Marshall can take control make this shot. If he makes this shot and gets good shape on the eight ball he can really jump on Deo five to three right? Thanks uh, for I that. agree. Yeah that's yeah. true. Marshall came up a little bit short, but that's okay. He's still got a good shot on the A ball. All he has to do is really is just cinch this ball, roll it in a little bit outside English. <laughs> great shot. Marshall made a great shot. 
but he came up, hit the nine ball, but he actually came out pretty good. He's got a pretty I'd like decent to shot on the nine ball. I'd like to come to Florida. I definitely would like. I would love to come to Florida. I've never been to Florida, man. I really? would love to come to Florida. Let's go to Epcot. I went to. Uh, I was Let's in, go to Disneyland. I was in Biloxi. Or Disney, That's the furthest wait, Disney World southeast I was is really? Biloxi. You know, oh, Marshall drills that nine ball wow. in. He's up on the hill. Five, five to three, three, real quick. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, Marshall's no, no, on cool. the hill right now, five to three and racking. But going back to Florida, you know what? When Epcot, you remember the big ball? Uh, Disney Disney World and Epcot. Do you remember that big ball? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I went to Epcot. I went to there when they were building that. That's how long. That was the last time I was there. Wow, that's a long time yeah. ago. That was like uh, late 80s or something, Okay, right? I'm old. Shut up. No, no, hey, psh, I'm 44. What? I'm 44 in like two weeks. Damn it, you look sexy. Brother, I try. <laughs> I try. I'll be forty. I'll be forty in September. <coughs> I turned forty-four on July twelfth. Good man, Charlie Brown. You look good. Right. right on. Anyway, nonetheless, Florida. Let's do it. Marshall made a great shot. He broke, made a ball, played a great safety on Dale. Dale was frozen behind an iron ball on the back rail. And Marshall's up five to three. Once this match is over, we're going to be down to four players. And out of 104 players of this Cole Dixon Memorial Tournament, Dale just tried to kick three rails, misses, gives Marshall ball a hand. Really, Marshall's really got the control now, right? I think now if he makes this one ball, gets shape on the two ball, keeps control, he should really run out. But at the same time, he's got that eight ball. That eight ball is in front of the nine. And that's going to make it tough. Oh, Marshall looks like he's going for a three foul on Dale. Which, as you know, if any of you are pool players, three foul is very hard. But at the same time, it's also a win. If you can con make your opponent make three fouls consecutive in a row, that is a loss of game. Right now, Marshall's got Dale on one. Played a great safety. So Dale has to play a really good shot to hit this ball. If he doesn't, he's on two fouls and is in danger of losing this match on a three foul. This is not an easy ball to hit, but he's going to... No. Look at that. Dale, Dale hit the ball bad. So Marshall... This is, this is foul number two, right? This is, this is foul number two. Marshall has now has Dale on two fouls. But now here's the thing. The way the ball... Was I love how Dale's girlfriend sits by him, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. She, I've been seeing them together now for over yeah. two and a half, three years. And you can see the belly on him. You know, he's... <laughs> <laughs> She's cooking well for yeah, him. Apparently, right? he's happy because he's got a belly. <laughs> of course... It is what it is. <laughs> Nonetheless. Bob, Bob Bolio in the chat room says that I don't look a day over 43. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Love you, too. Bob Bolio of the World PPA. Good man. Great guy. So here we go. I don't go. know why he's doing this. He should just play for his third foul, don't you think? Yeah, the problem was is that the one look, look and what he's were done. tied up. He's but completely well, screwed up his shape. Well, yeah, but he didn't really have didn't an opportunity. Have to play it like that. Correct. He he. The problem was is that no, no. That, now there's no third foul. No, you're right. He probably should have played it smarter. The problem was is that the one man and the eight were so tied up that he didn't have an opportunity to kick it out no, or play anything. I get that, but if he if he's going to decide to try to run it out, why did he play such a horrible combo on the one eight? Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but we're damn, have to, don't we're be so have harsh. To, no, I'm. Just, hey, I don't. I'm just saying. Look at this. You know, I don't, I don't hold room? back, bro. No, you know, I, I mean, understand. I mean, if I it's understand. a bad shot, it's a bad shot. You're right. You can't. You know, it was. Call a spade I, a spade. You I'm know what not, I'm saying? And you know what? I ain't going to argue. It was a bad shot. He should have played that shot better. As I like to say, uh, yeah. my friend Ryan DeBerg, that's a bad shot shot. Yeah. When you do, take frankly, a bad shot, yeah. you take a shot. Yeah. They don't serve shots here. So Cheers. Time to take a shot. <laughs> Nonetheless, Marshall didn't play the balls the way that we thought he would play him. 
And uh, so he got he so Dale got out of that two foul. Ooh, he's now playing, all of a sudden yeah, Dale played, played a good shot. Now Dale's got ball in hand, and he can come back and get in control of this. Now Dale's down five to three, but Dale's the kind of player that doesn't get rattled by being down, and he stays focused. And right now. The balls are all spread. If he plays position the correct way, he could really get out of this rack and get back right in the game. Don't you think, Dan? I agree 100%. You know, and that's it goes back to that shot that I was telling you about where Jason had, I mean, Marshall had ball in hand. Yeah, absolutely. You're correct. And, and I'm not going to argue that, Dan. You're absolutely right. You know, we were talking a little bit about it, but, oh, look at that. Dale and just now missed it's back in the hands of Marshall. Yeah, Dale just missed a shot that he should have. He just didn't take his time on. He just rushed it a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. Now here's the thing, and and here's where it really comes down to. The fact of the matter is, you're down to five players, and sometimes the the pressure just kind of builds up. You really got to bear down. Dale shot that ball too fast. You know, if he had taken his time a little bit more, he would have got he would have got where he needed to be and get out. Now he gave Marshall a clear opportunity to win this match. If he rolls this three ball in, like he just did, he's got great shape. Marshall's got great shape now. All he has to do is roll that five ball in and get shape on a six, and this match could really be over. And Dale didn't take his time, and that's really what it comes down to when you're playing. To down to the last few people What it comes down to Is precision play Focus Follow through Marshall's just running Running down Nice and smooth Came up a little bit short On that seven ball But I don't see him Really making a mistake right now He's really focused Ooh. Well. Did you see that? Marshall hit that ball pretty solid, but he just overjuiced it. Yeah, and, but, uh, you know, this, is, this is the typical situation where you miss a ball and you get a lucky, uh, he did. you know, he a, good a good roll, roll, you know? Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is now it comes down to Dale. And here's the thing. Dale's going to look at that shot. Dale's going to look at that shot. He's either going to think, bank that shot, draw it back, and get on the nine, or he's going to play safe two rails and then get him back on the back rail. Why? Well, no. He, he just basically got extremely lucky, and Deo is... is Deo is sporting himself an SHI eating yeah, grin. Exactly. <laughs> there it is. Because yeah, you know he he got real lucky. He he basically rolled out of the out of the titty and yeah. made the the ball in the opposite side pocket. Yeah, well, hey, it happens. It does happen. Cool. But he he it's, went for it. You know, and you know that's the way it goes. When you're when the hustlers playing you, yeah. and he makes it, and he goes, dude, it's nine ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically yeah. what happened. <laughs> it's nine ball. Sorry, man. Sorry, it's nine ball. Yeah. I'm just enjoying myself having a good time. Actually, you know what? Dale's looking good here. 
most of the balls in the middle of the table. Almost looking like he's free stroking right now, which could be dangerous. Always room for error when you're feeling like that loose. That was nice, but he may be on the wrong side of the four. marketing team to get back to me. I'm gonna make sure, uh, you know, the President of the United States has to let me know if it's okay. That's the Vegas treatment. It's all right. You miss, you miss that later? Yeah, I do. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. How's the missus? I'm single. Four we're months. Not, we're not on the fucking mic. We are on the mic. Yeah, we are.
All right, everybody. Dale Alpahora beats Marshall Williams six to five. And uh, stay tuned for the next match. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>